Hi, today our team at Verde Salon is going to show you three ways to curl your hair. So, flat irons. You're, if you have fine to medium textured hair, we're going to want to go like medium heat on the flat iron. For thicker, coarser hair, you can pop that heat up a bit more, but you really don't want to have it full heat. Now we're going to start with the heat relief, which is going to protect our hair from the flat iron, which is really important. I'm just going to mix that through. We'll like three or four sprays per side. That a little comb. Now, if you have more than hair than I do, you can section things out a little bit because my hair is fairly fine. I just go at her all at once. So the thicker the section of hair, the bigger the curl you're going to get. The smaller of the section, the tighter curl. So we're going to go about a medium-ish section. I like hitting it kind of vertically. Give it one good twist. And then we're just going to pull out away from your head. go and I'll just continue that around my head so one good turn and then just slowly pull that straight out you really want to keep things moving as you're pulling the flat iron down if you let that sit in one spot too long, you're going to end up burning your hair. And then today we're doing them all away from the face, which I do find tends to be the easiest. If you have a problem with your hair clumping together, it's a nice idea to do one away from the face and then one towards the face. Pull that straight back. And we're going to take our air control and just hit that one side with a bit of that. And then we're just going to continue that all on the other side. This section there. and then just pull that. I find because I'm right-handed, the left side tends to be easier. The right side is a little bit more challenging.
peaks one more time. Little spritz of the air control, which gives us some nice hold. It doesn't make anything really crunchy. Brush them out if you want, or just leave them the way they are. There we go. So today we're gonna do a curls with curling era. So first we have to have 100% dry hair. And second is that you need some praise styling products, which is I like to use the heat relief. And then before you apply any hot tools, you will spray it down to the hair. And evenly brush it out. Just make sure the hot tools, hot temperature too, is not gonna damage your hair really much. The second is like we're gonna prepare some hair clips to section out your hairs. I like to go from like the up to the ears and then clip away the hair from the top. Perfect. So we're gonna section out our hairs. So there's two ways for using curling arrows and then I'm going to show you for each side which is easier for you guys so for this side we're gonna do is section it out the hair and then using the clip clip it and then turns the way turns the way like following the clip then if you go like against it you're gonna have an ink from that so we do one side and I'll just alternate another side you can see the difference so clip it a little down and you want to turn it hold a little bit losing a little bit and the gold down again wrap it up go down to the ends wrap it up and then if you can, you better do a wrap. If you can't, just like lose it. And then you put it away for another side. It goes to like different way. And then wrap it. Goes down. Wrap again. And you can just lose like that. You're gonna hold stay already. Uh, for this side, I'm going to show you some easy ways that you can do at home that everyone can do. So, still going to focus on this clip over here. So what you're going to do is, from the roots, just wrap it up the hair until the end. So don't burn your hand. You can turn a little bit, close the roots, and then just hold for like a couple seconds, depends on your temperature. And then you let it go. You're gonna have the perfect curls over there. So for this side, just wrap it up, go close to your roots. So this way looks more like a smooth it out curls and this way looks more curly. So if someone looks for like a little more dramatic curls, I would say like wrap it up if it's a good idea. And then we're going to do the top sections again. Section out the hair. Clip that way. And don't take too much hair in case like not every piece gonna be evenly hit it and then you, you will have some hair doesn't curl.
Okay, so same before you brush it out, we spray some hairsprays to control it. Then you can use your comb or your hand to brush it out. To do waved hair, we're going to start with our heat relief. We're going to spray that in, four or five sprays for either side, really focusing that on the ends. Give that a bit of a comb. And then to make things easier, we're going to section that off. out about a quarter to half of the hair you have on your head and pin that out of the way. So we're going to start with our section here and bending things that way. opposite way as we continue to move down the hair strand. I will just repeat that movement throughout. One thing that we need to remember about curly hair is that nothing is ever perfectly the same. So it's okay if this wave looks a bit different than the wave behind it. You could do it closer or farther apart depending on the length of your hair or how you want to style that to be a really tr tight, dramatic wave or something a little bit more loose and gentle. You don't have to go right up to the root if you want to. You can if you want to get some extra volume in there. Yeah, 
and we still want to do some keep that flat iron moving as we go along the hair shaft so we don't burn anything. So we're just gonna continue that onto the other side. Switching that flat iron back and forth as we move down the hair strand. Again, the bigger the section you're gonna take, the looser the wave. If you want that a bit tighter, then you could do a smaller section. up any of those last little pieces that you want to see more waved. And then to get a bit of extra texture, we're going to use the texture tonic spray, which you can also just spray into wet hair and scrunch that in for like a nice beachy wave. This is going to give my fine hair some extra texture. Scrunch that through. And then we always have the option of two of finishing with a pump of the Nutriplenish oil, just to help with some of those little flyaways and give that hair a bit of extra shine. There we are. Subscribe for more tutorials and check out the description box below for all the products.